Hi everybody, this is my review of the Essential phone from the company called Essential. Um, this is a company started by Andy Rubin for uh, Android phone. So this is the box that came in, I already have it open. It, came, it comes with your USB-C cord here, USB-C to USB-C. This is actually a very high quality cable. It has a wrap around, it's braided. Um, the connections here at the ends, these are pretty tough. Uh, I have to say I'm very impressed with the quality of the items that came in here, so let's put that to the side. It does not have a uh, headphone jack, so they included an adapter which plugs into your USB-C at the bottom and then you plug your headphones right into here. Uh, I'm not real happy that it doesn't come with one, but it seems like all the phones are moving in that direction. And then of course it comes with a plug to plug it in and charge it for USB-C. And this is uh, fast charging. This phone, uh, I, I already opened this and everything. I'm just trying to show you what, it, what comes in the box. Uh, it's very fast at charging. Um, the only other thing that I found in here was this little sheet of paper inside. It has the key to get out your SIM card and put a new one in. And then this little tiny pamphlet in here with basically saying everything else is online. And that's it. That's all that comes in this box. I thought it was actually very nice the way it looks and everything. It's kind of elegant. Um, you know, they're trying to, I think, I want to say that this company is trying to mimic Apple in a way. Well, I'm just going to show you here. Like, the box is just black on all sides except for the numbers and then the, the central phone right there, which shows you the PH-1. And uh, so, but it's, that's, that's it. It's just a black box, essentially, and then you open it up and everything's nice right there for you to see. So you close that up. Also, again, just so you can see a central phone, and I have the black one. Uh, that's the only color that seems to be available. So, now this is the phone itself. I, so far, have really enjoyed using this phone. Uh, I w did not want to buy a new phone at this time. I really wanted to wait, but it was sort of nece uh, necessary since my last phone just stopped working all of a sudden. So, just to give you a heads up of where I'm coming from, hold on just a second here, let me just get this notification out of the way. So, I'm coming from a Nexus 6P. And what happened is I've dropped this thing multiple times. Um, it's actually starting to bend on the corner here. So I've not been, I've had it for just over a year. It was just out of warranty and it went into a boot loop and it's never come out of it. So I called up Huawei and they were like, we don't care. It's, after, it's out of warranty. You got to take it to another shop. It probably needs a motherboard replacement. I looked into that and they were quoting a few hundred dollars. I was like, yeah, that's okay. I'll just get a new phone instead. So that's why I ended up with this. Now, when I was looking for this phone, uh, it was at the $500 price point, which is a little bit cheaper than the, some of the other phones that are available now. So that's part of the reason why I got this. I paying full price. I wanted to be able to move between different phone companies, so I didn't want anything locked in. And that's why I chose this phone, or one of the reasons. Now, with that, let's go over what this phone has. So it has a screen here that goes from the top all the way down to here. Now, this is a neat little trick that they did. And let's see if we can see it here. So at the top here, you can see that this is a rounded edge right here, but you have your camera in there. So whenever you're watching anything, you still have a straight line edge and you don't have to worry about it, you know, the camera blocking anything or rounded edges on your movies. And then at the bottom here, it is a straight edge, so you don't have any issues. So I found watching YouTube videos and things like that on here or movies to be no problem whatsoever. So. That is really nice the way that they designed that. I know that with the new iPhone X, I think a lot of people are complaining of the camera and that little bar in the top that was uh, that's in there is actually cutting into their shows because it still tries to show the full screen. This does not have that issue. Now, as far as software, I found this to work very well. Uh, I really haven't had many issues. It stuttered a little bit with some things, especially with uh, Facebook, but I've found that every phone stutters with Facebook, it seems like. I think it's more their app and the way it's designed than the, the phones itself. Um, I don't like the fact that everything seems to be pushed down quite a bit from this bar. I wish everything was moved up a little bit more. Uh, and I'm not sure why they have this much, like, the space here between the camera and this bar. I think that's just too much. I would like to see everything kind of spaced out or have another row in there even. So that's one of the things I will say. Um, as far as the screen, I like it. I think it's a lot better than this, uh, the Nexus. Um, I think this is nicer size. Uh, it's a little bit, I think these are supposed to be the same size, but this feels bigger and looks bigger to me. Um, and maybe that's because of this camera in here and so everything kind of crops off a little bit. But uh, 
I, I, as I'm saying, I just, I think the screen is fine. I still prefer this one, but you know, it is what it is as far as uh, having to move phones. Uh, as far as the app tour, this is, the, by the way, this is stock. I have not done anything other than do updates uh, to, to bring this up. You just swipe up. So that's very different than I think all the other phones I've had. I've always had to click a button here to bring up my apps. This one you just slide up and you can just scroll right through and then you slide down, it just drops them right back in. So it's a little bit different uh, compared to what I'm used to. Uh, the camera app, now this is the weak point of the phone. This camera app is mediocre at best. Um, it's getting better, there's been updates. It's definitely a little bit better than what it was. Uh, you know, I think the one thing I really like about it actually is this uh, mono mode, which you really, well, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up now. Which uses the black and white camera on the back and it changes everything. I don't know if you can see that right now, but um, unfortunately everything already over, over here, like my hand, you can see that it's black and white. And I think that really actually is a really good camera and it works really well. The auto mode's okay. Um, there's some delay. Some, sometimes when I was taking photos, it seemed like there was a delay, like it wouldn't go right away. Now it's working perfectly fine, but I wonder if that's just because of, uh, you know, there, it's really bright light. I've been low light. I found much, many more issues. Um, but it's, and as I said, it's getting better. There's been updates and I probably haven't used it in a while. I've been using uh, open camera, which I have found to be a much better program. It's everything seems to be brighter in it. It's fast. Um, I've been very happy with it so far, so I've been using that instead. But with that, let's go over some of the other things on this phone. So I'm gonna turn off the screen. Uh, the volume buttons are on the side up top and the power button's down below. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this placement. I'd like to see these bus buttons pushed up. I'd love to see this on the, the top here or actually at least above these buttons. I don't like it having it down here. I hit it by accident all the time. Um, I like having everything shifted up a little bit because my hands are, you know, a little bit big, but not too big, but there's still, it's, everything just seems like it's it's right there by my thumb when I'm holding the phone, I'm constantly hitting buttons on it. And I, I found that on this phone, I didn't like the same thing. I did not like the buttons here in the middle. I'd much rather have them up top. So now if we go to the back, this has a, dual camera system so one of them is a black and white and the other one is color i'm not sure which is which but then you have your flash and you have a little microphone hole and then you have your fingerprint sensor we'll go over that in just a minute uh, you also have these two metal pieces right here that are indented and that is for right now the only thing they have out is a 360 degree camera mine is actually on order i have not received it yet though so I'll review that in another one, but that is for a camera that sits up top and it's supposed to be held on with magnets and do everything automatically. So now to the fingerprint sensor. I really like the way this fingerprint sensor works. I do wish it was a little bit more indented so you can find it easier, but one of the things I like about it is the fact that, okay, it'll work this way, it'll work this way, it'll work when it's upside down. Uh, it just seems to pick up very quickly compared to my old phone. Um, this phone, the Nexus 6P, I had to be up and down like this. If I was off to the side, it didn't work. If I was upside down, it didn't work. And it just, it just seemed like it was, it, it only worked when it was right one way. And it really kind of ticked me off that it, it was so difficult to use. Like if my kids had the phone and they're like, it locked on them and they wanted me to unlock it, I couldn't just walk up behind them and click it. I had to take the phone from them and then I had to put my hand like this and then I had to make sure it was lined up just right to click it open. So. That is one of the things that I really am impressed with on this phone is the fact that like here, I'm going to show you right here. So I'm going in upside down and it unlocked. And my other phone did not do that. So I, I really, really do like this phone with, that, with respect to that. So let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, we have a full titanium frame. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there's a titanium frame that's going around. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, titanium, no big deal. I have titanium watch and it has held up incredibly well um, to the point where I'm actually pretty impressed with titanium itself. So I like the fact that it's titanium and something that hopefully will not break or bend like this did. I mean, like this is just bending right here. And that was the third time it was bending. Uh, I found that I basically had to baby this phone, otherwise it just would break. Um, I had to send in a couple of times, as you could tell, it's cracked up here. Uh, you know, and this, these were never, 
Most of, for the bending, I never even dropped it. Um, for this, it dropped all of uh, six inches out of my pocket when I was kneeling down to do uh, some work on a bike. I, you know, and it shattered the screen and you know dented this all dented this all up and everything. So I, I was not impressed with the build quality of this phone as far as the the toughness of it. So so far, I've had this for a couple weeks. It's been very good. This back is ceramic. It is incredibly shiny and it will get fingerprints all over it, but they clean right off. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little scuffing hap, you know, some scuffing happening at the top and the bottom where it rubs against things, but overall, that, that, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I know a lot of people like putting cases on their phone. I do not. I never put cases on my phone. They are always out in the open because if I'm buying a thin phone, I shouldn't have to put a case on it to make it twice as thick. That just seems ridiculous to me. And I know everyone I know has cases, but I never use cases on my phone. This is the first phone I've ever broken. That uh, or I should say, just it was a boot loop, but it's the first phone that I've had break, broken like this before by dropping it. Um, usually, when I drop it, normally it's a couple inches or something like that. It's never really. It's not like I'm dropping it from three feet up or anything. But a phone should be able to take a drop without shattering. If the screen shatters, that's one thing, but it's you know it still shouldn't matter. So uh, let's see. USB-C on the bottom. Your micro, uh, your your card slot for your uh, SIM card. Uh, no, I'm sorry, there is no micro card slot, and this is where your speakers are. Now, I'm going to turn on some, uh, well, actually, I don't know if I have anything to play right now that you'd really be able to tell with this, but uh, this speaker actually works pretty well. Uh, these speakers on top and bottom, I liked a whole lot. I think they worked really well. This surprisingly works well. It's set up more like the Apple um, iPad that I have where the speaker's on the side, but it's not reflecting downward. So it's not like if you put it on a table, it's gonna sound better. It sounds fine in the air. It sounds fine however you're holding it really. But you, it is coming out the bottom here, so you wanna have, kind of have this to you compared to like the uh, when I have my iPad out, I have to put my hand here or I have to put it on a table to even hear it. If I don't have anything right here, it just it, it sends all the sound right here and I, I can't hear it. So I am impressed with the sound on this. I am impressed with the way it works. Uh, I'm hoping that there's more updates to bring uh, the camera app especially up to par or even make it better uh, and uh, updates to make some of the things like as I said it's stuttered in a few applications uh, it's crashed I don't want to say it's crashed but it's had uh, some points where it says it's, it's waiting and then it kind of picks back up and works just fine it's you know five to ten seconds but it's still not something I've had to deal with on, on my Nexus 6P very often so uh, I, overall, I'm very happy with this phone. I would recommend it, especially based on the price that it is now. When it was more expensive, I would not have recommended it. I think it would have been too high. But uh, overall, I am impressed with this phone. So I would highly recommend it for the price point that it is. Uh, I will have a review later on the 360 degree camera and we'll see how well that works as well. I'm hoping to get that soon. I thought it would have it today, but it was delayed in shipping. So. Uh, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If it's something major, I'll take another video, and I'll take another stab at trying to answer your questions. If it's something minor, I'll just answer in the comments. Thank you very much.